Hello, this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again sa Math Habit. Okay, so pag ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon is adding and subtracting decimals. Okay, in adding and subtracting decimals, it is similar to the process of adding and subtracting whole numbers. Okay, so kaparehas lang pala siya ng process ng, pa ng pag-a-add at pagsusubtract ng whole numbers. Okay, so mayroon tayong examples ng addition and subtraction ng whole numbers dito. And ito yung mga answers nila. Okay, so paano natin nasabi na kaparehas lang siya ng whole numbers? Okay, kasi itong mga whole numbers na to, meron talaga silang mga decimal points. Eh nakalagay sila sa dulo na right side. Kaya lang, hindi na natin inilalagay yung mga decimal points ng whole numbers, especially kapag wala namang value na after nung decimal point. So, kung nasaan yung decimal point ng whole number na inad or sinubtract natin, nakatapat din doon yung mga decimal points ng kanilang mga sagot. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's have an example of addition of decimals. Okay. So, we have here example 2.25 plus 0.03 plus 0.056. Okay, so we have steps to follow in adding decimal. Okay, we have step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal point. I-arrange natin yung digits sa pa-column o pahaba, pataas, and dapat magkakatapat yung decimal points. Okay, so ayan na, naka-align na sila. Na-arrange na natin and magkaka-align na yung mga decimal points nila. And then step 2, insert zeros in an empty decimal decimal place value so that all of the numbers have the same numbers of decimal place. Okay, kung may mga blank, okay, may mga uh, spaces, okay, maglalagay tayo ng zero as placeholders para pantay-pantay at meron tayo silang same numbers ng decimal places. Okay, so after uh, inserting zeros, add or subtract just like whole numbers. Okay, so i-add na natin yung ating um, Three add then, so ito yung answers nila. Okay, so that's how we add decimals. Okay, and then wag natin kalilimutan na yung decimal point, kung nasaan yung decimal point na ina-add natin, sa final answer, dapat nakatapat din doon yung decimal point. So, the final answer is 2.3556. Okay. okay, so ngayon naman, let's subtract Decimal. So, we have here 10 minus 9.45. Okay, so kung ano yung steps na ginawa natin in adding decimals, ganun din yung steps na ipa-follow natin in subtracting decimals. Okay, so sa step 1, i-arrange natin yung mga digits na isusubtract natin in column and dapat naka-align yung mga decimal points. Okay, so ito na siya ngayon. Magkatapat na yung kanyang decimal points. And then, number 2, insert zeros uh, as our placeholder. Kailangan para-para sila ng decimal places and zero dapat yung ilalagay natin para 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 sa sila ng decimal place. And then, after uh, inserting zero, add or subtract just like whole numbers. So, we have here zero minus five. Since we cannot subtract five from zero, magbabaro tayo sa katabi. Yung ten natin ngayon, is magig yung zero natin ngayon is magiging ten. So, ten minus five will give us 5. And then, yung 0 na hiniraman natin, magiging 9 na siya ngayon. So, 9 minus 4 is 5. And, yun talaga sa totoong hiniraman natin na 10, uh, magiging uh, 9 na siya ngayon. So, 9 minus 9 is 0. Okay, again, kung nasaan yung decimal point, itatapat lang din natin yung decimal point sa ating final answer. Okay, so, ganyan kung paano mag-subtract ng decimals. Now, let's have um, another examples. Okay, so let's practice. We have here uh, another example. Okay, again, itong mga uh, digits na to, i-arrange natin in columns na magkakatapat ang decimal points. Okay, so ayan, may nakikita tayo mga spaces. Uh, hindi tapat-tapat, hindi magkakapantay ang kanilang decimal place value. Kaya ang gagawin natin, mag-insert tayo ng zero as uh, placeholders para same number sila ng decimal places, okay? And then step 3, add or subtract. So since ang operation natin ay addition, so i-add natin yung uh, mga add and i-add natin tong mga digits na to. So our final answer. Okay. 
So again, so kung nasaan uh, yung decimal point, itatapat lang din natin yung decimal point natin para sa ating final answer. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so let's have example number two. Okay, so ito yung ating example number two. Again, uh, step one, i-arrange natin in columns and dapat naka-align yung decimal points. And then step two, insert zeros in empty decimal places. Ayan, so pantay-pantay na sila. And then add or subtract. Since addition ng ating operation, i-add natin yung ating uh, five addends all together and this will be our final answer. Okay, so... Again, uh, don't forget na ilagay sa tapat ng uh, mga decimal places yung decimal point katapat ng final answer. Okay, so let's have example number 3. Okay, we have here point zero seven. Okay, so dito mix yung ating operation. Meron tayong addition and then subtraction. So ang gagawin natin, yung first two terms yung muna yung ating isusolve. So yung point zero seven plus point uh, 3531. Okay. So, ayan, naka-align na sila in columns and then uh, naka-arrange na in columns and then naka-align na rin yung decimal point. And then, let's do the step 2. Yung uh, maglalagay tayo na 0 as placeholders para same sila ng decimal places. And then, after uh, gawin na natin yung operation. So, since addition, i-add natin tong dalawang terms na to. Okay. So, the answer in 0 0.07 plus 0.3531 is 0.4231. Okay. Ngayon, yung sagot, yung sum dito, yun naman yung isusubtract natin dun sa next term. So, we have here 0 0.4231 minus 0.126. Yan. So, subtract natin. Mag-insert tayo as, ng zero as placeholder para same sila ng decimal basis. And then, isusubtract natin. So, 1 minus 0 is 1. 3 minus 6 cannot be, kaya magbabaro tayo ng 1 sa katabi. Yung 3 natin magiging 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. Yung 2 naging 1 siya. So, since 1 minus 2 cannot be, magbabaro tayo ng 1 sa 4. So, yung 1 natin magiging 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. Yung 4 natin, since nag, uh, nag-baro tayo ng 1, magiging 3 na lang siya. 4, 3. And then, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay. So, again, kung saan nas, nasaan yung decimal point natin, itatapat natin yung decimal point natin dun sa ating answer. Okay. So, yun yung, uh, so yun yung difference uh, ng ating, uh, yun yung sagot sa ating uh, pangatlong term. So, itong uh, difference natin na 0.2971, i-add naman natin siya ngayon sa 0.15. Okay. So, Pagkata si align, mag-add tayo ng zero as placeholder. So, since operation naman natin is plus, i-add natin siya. So, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and then 7 plus 0 is 7, 9 plus 5 is 14, 4 carry 1, then 4. So, the final answer is 0. 0.4471. Okay, yung ating sum is i-subtract i i naman natin sa 0. 0.08. So, 0. 0.4471 minus 0. 0.08. So, naka-align na sila. In column, naka-align na rin decimal point. So, maglalagay na tayo ng 0 as placeholder. Then, isusubtract natin. So, 1 minus 0 is 1. 7 minus 0 is 7. 4 minus 8 cannot be. Kaya magbabaro tayo ng isa. Yung 4 natin is magiging 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. Yung 4 natin na uh, hiniraman natin magiging 3. 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay. So, again, i-align natin yung ating decimal point. So, the final answer in this problem is... Okay, so ngayon, it's your turn naman. So, nag-prepare ako ng uh, three exercises here for you to practice. Okay, so number one, identify the sum of 9.54 plus 3.6. So, may mga options here. Okay, so pagkatapos nyong uh, mag-solve, you can uh, choose your... Uh, Answer here from the option. So, number two, identify the difference. 12 minus 6.6. .6, okay. And number three, we have here example problem and ito rin yung mga options. Okay. So, uh, you can post your answer below the comment, sec comment section and then uh, sasabihin ko sa inyo ako nakuha nyo yung tamang sagot. Okay. And then, so, ayun. Uh, that's all for now. 
Uh, that's all for today. So, I hope natutunan kung paano mag-add at mag-subtract ng decimals. Okay, so watch out for our next video kasi uh, ang next ko naman na ipopost or i-upload is uh, multiplying and dividing decimals. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and listening. See you again next time.